I imagine a world where it doesn't matter, you know, where your family came from or what kind of house you live in or what type of neighborhood you're from. You will always be full, full in your stomach, but also full in your heart, in your potential, full in the way that you see the world. So when we are successful, we'll be able to live in a world where everybody will be able to, to reach their full potential. And we're going to start that with food. So the VegRx program is a program that the Hmong American Farm Association started in collaboration with Health East. And the uh, mission of the program is to provide access to healthy food for families who are experiencing food insecurity. And if you're a family that's struggling with all of the other barriers that poverty presents, it's a big challenge to put healthy foods on the table on a regular basis. It's the cost, you know, um, the education, and access to healthier foods. It's especially important for people who are struggling with chronic diseases like diabetes and obesity and heart disease. We serve the underserved, um, underinsured. We have a lot of refugees coming to our clinics. I will often recommend a diet that's heavy in fresh vegetables and produce and I can kind of see their eyes glaze over sometimes and I know that what they're thinking you know that's nice for you to say that you know a rich doctor but I can't put those foods on my table for my family. In the past, we've really had nothing in our toolbox to be able to help those families. We just kind of move on to the next subject. And then our team was approached by the Hmong American Farmers Association and Blue Cross um, around this, uh, what became VeggieRx. The way that the VeggieRx program works is the doctors at Health East review some of the patients that they've been seeing. You know, if they have chronic health issues like diabetes and they don't have access to healthy foods, um, that's how they get referred. And they invite those families to a nutrition class. And in the nutrition class, the VeggieRx program is introduced. We um, include those families in our uh, Community Supported Agriculture, or our CSA program. And then starting in June, our farmers actually bring in portions of their harvest, and we uh, pack them up into CSA boxes. And then the families can come in and pick up their CSA shares at a clinic where they trust people and where they're familiar with how to get here and kind of how to navigate navigate our systems. So it's all free of cost, no compensations. We first started the VegRx program with only five shares. In three years, we're now at 100 shares and we're at four sites. And we have doctors actually that are clamoring, wanting to add their um, clinics and their hospitals to our program. So it's been phenomenal. One patient that I have struggles with a pretty challenging combination of physical illnesses and mental illnesses. Literally the first time I ever saw him smile was when he left the clinic with his big box of fresh, colorful produce from Hmong American Farmers Association. The smile on face says it all. So, you know, they have uh, access to healthier foods, they're eating healthier now, they're happier, and it just helps their lifestyles. I love the Veggie RX program. I was on a lot of medications, and uh, I don't need to be on those medications if I eat right. So. I share my vegetables with my family for dinner. They come over and they, eat and they get to eat healthy. It's actually changed their life too because they're just become healthy and more healthy. And we're sort of surprised to see a reduction in A1C, which is a marker of diabetic control. Improved diabetic control results in less stroke, heart disease, kidney disease, and other big problems. One really unexpected outcome is increasing social connectedness. Neighbors talking to neighbors that they have never talked to about this strange vegetable that they got in their box. Increased eating together as a family. If you have deep bonds, if you have a lot of trust in a community, that actually makes the community stronger, it makes the community more resilient. Those, those relationships are actually what lift up communities. Not only are we supplying the families that we're working with, healthy food to eat, but we're also sourcing that food from Hmong farmers. So in that way, we're you know working to support some wealth building in that community. Fundamentally, it's about how we're building community. Community between farmers and families who may be experiencing food insecurity. Community between the medical providers and the patients. Community between you know healthcare providers and farmers. If you just have one light or you just have one spark, right, that that can ignite something that can be so illuminating.